Newport News Shipbuilding is a 130-year-old company, and the opportunity today is for us to reinvent ourselves. You know, we've seen uh, the products we built go from, uh, from a tugboat to today, the modern nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and submarines. When you think about the value stream for shipbuilding, we design, we engineer, we procure material, we plan, we manufacture, and we assemble and test. Um, there's not one aspect of that value stream that's not dependent on the others. We have lots and lots of data. We now have a Ford class that is uh, completely 3D model. Can we take a, that 3D model and push it through across the whole supply chain, manufacturing and everything? It takes a lot of paper to build an aircraft carrier and a submarine. Uh, there's no reason we can't consolidate this stuff down into, into this digital environment. So across the senior leadership team, there's a really strong shared vision to transition to a new integrated digital shipbuilding environment. It's very important that we transfer data in a very timely manner and integrated digital shipbuilding will help connect all of the partners in a value stream in a way that we don't operate today. I really think it's going to streamline everything we do in the sense that right now we all have to carry individual weld records. We got to verify all this data and input the same things over and over and over. Uh, and the goal in the future is that we won't have to look at these drawings. We won't have to look at these weld records. We're just going to see what the trades before us input. We'll see what it is we have to do, inspect this. Is it satisfactory? Yes or no. Sign it off and it's done. This is the reinvention that is what, uh, what the decision to go into nuclear power in the 50s was, going from riveted holes to welded holes. And I think this is every bit that, that kind of a game changer for the company. I think our, our planning challenges, our manufacturing challenges are, are the same as, as most companies in industry. The problem that we encounter is that we don't make one thing and it, there's not a common way of doing it. So there's a lot of customization, there's a lot of, of creativity required and investment required to create a plan for something as complex as, a, as an aircraft carrier or a submarine. We're able to provide the employees, both the mechanic doing the work, the supervisor, the inspector, everybody involved with it, all the information they need on a screen with the touch of a button. It reduces a lot of the time that I have to spend in the morning setting up jobs. It, from my crew, it, it's giving them clear-cut instruction every day instead of them having to come to me and find a drawing number. It's already right there on their, their work assignment sheet. My mechanics, they, they love it. They say it's excellent. It's the best tool we ever had for us, like, the information. I talked to mechanics who's walking around with iPads, and I purposely wanted to know how they feel about it. They said Ray, it was a culture shift, but now we've seen the power of what this piece of equipment can do for us. We don't have to walk off the job and spend hours looking for things. This is how we go about doing it. If we can cut our time, increase performance, and bring the heart of the employee into the business, we're on our way. As we think about how do we provide the products that the nation, our Navy needs, it's incumbent on us to go look at how do we do that. And today, we are starting to reinvent ourselves. So we're here for the next 130 years.